Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the spider versus animation, and this is the question many of us uh, have. Like, you know, what's the essential difference? And today we what we're gonna do is we're not just going to look at the description or definition or or like you know plain text. We'll also see a demo of why both of these phases in the penetration test are so important. Now, what is spidering? So, spidering, uh, you can one can also say something like a crawling. So, when uh, this is mostly done by the tools or uh, some uh, like you know scanners who has a built-in functionality of spidering the application before it start doing the testing. So, uh, spidering uh, means you go into the app and then you figure out what are the pages that the app uh, has, and then you also figure out what are the dynamic forms it has and how these forms are being submitted and if they have a login page so you just want to make like you know the full scope of the application so that's why spiraling is important and this is also sometimes used to kind of scope the engagement or scope uh, how how big of an effort will it be f to perform the penetration test now enumeration is uh, different so animation you can also say something like an information gathering so uh, during the animation phase, we, as a pen tester, you may want to like you know find out as much information as possible, so because that's going to be really really helpful while performing the pen test. So uh, one of the example could be uh, during the animation, you may want to find out, let's say what's the web server, like you know what the version of the web server, what are the te technologies that they are using for building the application, are they using any APIs. Uh, do, do you have the API documentation available and some of this information um, might not be given to you so if you are performing like a black box testing on some of this information might be given to you depending on what kind of pen test you are performing but yeah enumeration is very very important uh, so what we're gonna do do today is I have built an app uh, it's not an app essentially just a, a small a page where we will see uh, the demo of both and and and, the, and not just the demo but we're also gonna see <coughs> why spidering is not uh, kind of so we'll, we'll use the verb spidering why uh, uh, spidering is not always sufficient and why you should also do the animation why how, how it differs and like you know what advantages does it provide like what advantage does the spidering provides over animation and, and vice versa so we will see that let's jump on to our VM and see how it does so if we all right, so what I've done is this is like a small app running on my local host, uh, says Spider app. And uh, when you land here, it says no content has been added to the site yet. All right, that's good. Now, let's start with the spidering. So what we'll do is uh, we'll use the burp spidering. So I'll go to the burp, I'll go to target and scope. So first make sure uh, you add the uh, whatever the target you have in the scope. So that will make it easier for you to uh, perform the spidering. Now next thing, when you go to the sitemap, uh, you will see uh, like you know the host already listed. So let me just clear this out uh, just to start from the scratch because we hit the refresh. So, okay, and we'll stop spidering. All right, so, um, okay, let's intercept on. So when you want to spider any application, uh, just turn the intercept on, uh, click on any of the links, or just hit the refresh button. Now you should be able to see the request in the burp. You can right click and send to spider. Again, in burp 2.0, it's different. Uh, we discussed that during uh, one of our previous video but yeah just send it to spider and here you'll see spider is running how many requests that it's um, it has made so far and if there are any requests or forms in queue now if you go here to the sitemap you will see there is a spider app and then there is a form uh, like which is spider app and that's it like you know there is uh, and there is also an application HTML that's under 127 though. So within SpiderUp there is only one form which Burp has like you know be able to identify it so far. Now is this true? Maybe or maybe not. Now 
how do you make sure that there are no other folders or files or anything inside this app because how the spidering or the bulb spidering works is it try to say if you go to the uh, source so it does is it's kind of try like you know any other links that's available into the source code and click on it and then click on the following link and that way it pretty much gathers all the information now since there is no other link here it's not able to find uh, what other pages or anything and I'm not not sure either like if there are any other pages or not so that's why we need enumeration at this point so how that is done is we'll we'll see uh, the tool called go buster so uh, go buster what it does is it's sort of like a directory enumeration uh, it also have other functionality so you provide the URL of the application which in our case is spider app then you also provide the word list so this is going to perform like a brute force attack and we'll try to figure out if any of this directory is uh, available or not it's sort of like a directory enumeration right now if we run this so there you go uh, it found one folder or directory which is called images and it found another directory which is test now if you look at the bulb results let me so it did not find any of this directory while here we can see both the directories uh, does exist and it kind of able to found it right so this is uh, one of the advantage of doing the directory enumeration and not just rely on the spidering to figure out what is the scope of the application and sometimes like you know uh, it may contain some hidden information now if you want to just confirm it we can go back to the browser and let's see images yeah there you go we have images here and then you can also go here and say test so there is command dot php and all sort of file now as we have traversed or we have clicked through this application uh, through these pages burp should able to pick this up now so as you can see now burp shows the test folder also the command.php images folder and of course the uploads folder and what's inside the uploads folder and all those things so spidering only works when there is a pass if you manually click through the links or uh, there is a way in the source code that the uh, tool can click through so that's how uh, the main difference between the spidering and the enumeration now another uh, tool that I uh, do use sometimes is directory derby derp. So again, it works the same way. It has the pre-built uh, sort of like you know word list file as you can see here. You can of course define your own as well, and it will do the, some uh, same level of thing that GoBuster did. Uh, it's just going to scan the URL and and see uh, like you know if there are any folder that it found so for example here you can see direct it found this directory images and likewise it's gonna just keep going there is one other tool that i would like to show you is the uh this is inside the metasploit so once you launch the msf console you can just do search directory scanner and it should give you the uh, one of the uh, auxiliary scanner which is available for you to perform the uh, same operation now let's use this okay now scanner HTP and directory scanner let's see the options okay so we just need to set the our host which is 127.0.0.1 and now we can run 
so as you can see uh, we have all this uh, of course, instead of 127.0.0.1, we could have specified the actual app name or secret until spider app. But as you can see, it's also using uh, word directory, word dictionary uh, for the information. And it found all this directory. But yeah, it pretty much does the same thing as we saw with the earlier two tool. Now, the other uh, animation technique is Watweb. So here you uh, provide the IP address and uh, these are all the open source tools which you can easily use in your pen test and it comes with the Kali Linux. So here uh, what it's going to do is it's going to give you uh, information as much as it could like in terms of like you know what are the web server, the open SSL and all the other uh, like you know attributes like in jQuery and IP and all those things. So this is a good info because sometimes uh, this really helps when you are trying to exploit a certain web server if you know the exact version information or you know exact like you know what the open SSL version or PHP it's using so you can easily craft and exploit or use the ready-made exploit so that's why uh, this tool is also going to be very useful and the last one is the WFUS now how it works is uh, so this is for the color coding uh, now every response we want so WFUS will give you uh, like you know enumerate uh, just like GoBuster it will give you all the uh, data uh, like it will try all the combination of given the word list and if it's 404 it will give you the details if it's 200 of course we don't want all the details so what we have done here is we have asked like we have provided the file for the word list we have uh, made sure that the 404 status code is hidden and then of course we have given the uh, URL that we want to first and you need to specify the word first so it's gonna replace that particular word with all the word list or all the words that been uh, provided from the dictionary right so once we uh, enter this so as you can see here uh, we got 200 in green color because we have asked it to color code it uh, we are here and now uh, it's so for example this 301 so it found images so it's here now some of this like it's not just going to find out the directory it's also going to find out any sensitive information so uh, like you know all this text that it thought maybe it's something uh, sensitive so it's highlighting all this stuff but yeah we are less concerned about this but yeah it indeed found the images and this uh, scanning will take a while because this is a uh, like you know long word list but yeah this is how it's uh, pretty pretty much run so I would highly recommend to try out each of this tool uh, like you know go buster and derby and uh, uh, of course, Metasploit has tons of other tools, but yeah, this is uh, the one that I have found uh, most useful. And then, of course, WFUS. So, uh, definitely uh, look around uh, all these tools, and I'm sure you guys must be using some tools as well as part of your pen test. So, uh, let me know which other tools that you recommend or, or you have been using a lot, and have any comments, any suggestions for the other viewers so uh, we can all collaborate and share our information uh, of course you have any other questions uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, uh, write me in the comment section and I'll be glad to answer your question uh, I, that's it from my side this week uh, hit the thumbs up button if you really like this video and hit the subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week bye